Good morning. Welcome to Great Transition Strategies Monday Morning Stand-Up. Five minutes to get your week off to a great start and potentially give you something to help make you a more effective leader. Today's topic, it's number four in a series of, that we're working on workplace wellness, and it is physical wellness. I'm Gary Sliman. As an executive coach, I work with high-performing leaders to help them build their self-awareness, to understand how they lead so they can love what they do. All right. Physical wellness, what do you think it is? Simply, do you have the energy to do what you want to do when you want to do it? That's simple. Great. Let's start with some stats. Did you know that in the United States, about 70% of the money spent on healthcare is for preventable conditions? 70% preventable conditions. Pretty incredible. And we have a pretty good example when you think about COVID that just happened. Who were the people, the majority, when you look at the data, who is most affected by COVID and who is affected in one, deaths and severe illness? It was those folks with age, over 65, and comorbidities, when you put those together. Those folks who are younger, comorbidities. What are comorbidities? Those are the other types of diseases, heart disease, lung disease, all the other types of things. Many of those are preventable. Think type two diabetes, obesity, lung disease because, because of smoking. So those are just things that just came off the top of my head that can cause problems that we might, might have caused for, for ourselves. All right, so you're probably saying, Gary, I cannot be in charge of people, you know, all these things for them. Well, let's talk about it a little bit. All right, what can, we can't control our age, right? We get older, things happen to us. Right? We can't control our age, but what are things we can control on our overall physical wellness? And in that physical wellness side, there's really three things you can control. Number one, the amount of sleep we get. So think about yourself, and then we're going to jump to the folks that you lead. One, the amount of sleep you get, the amount of exercise you get, and then how you, how you eat. And we'll put those together and call them, call them lifestyle. Sleep. Only 40% of us get the recommended amount of sleep, which is between seven and a half and nine hours a night. How'd you do last night? How do you feel when you do not get a good night's sleep? How do you feel? And how many how many people like, oh yeah, I, I get by on just five, six hours. I have no problem. I don't need it. There's long-term effects for those things. So how are you doing with your sleep? How do you feel? Next, think about, okay, so sleep's number, number one, exercise. How do you feel when you haven't exercised in a long time? Or when you, find, when you do get the exercise, you go out, get some exercise, whether it's just a walk, or going to the gym. Some of us, some folks are maniacs and they work out really hard. There's some of us that, okay, just to walk a day, 20 minutes a day, what does that do for you? I bet you help, I bet you you feel pretty decent doing it. I know, I know I do, right? Last one, diet. In the United States, fatty, high, high, high sugar, high processed foods, those are areas that affect us all in our overall well being. Well, what are, we, what are we doing about that? So think about you and yourself. How are you sleeping? What kind of exercise are you getting? And what are you doing? What, how, are you, how are you eating to kind of help put all that wellness together? Now, as leaders, what can we do as leaders? We can't control that. Of course not. Well, what's the environment? What are, what's the climate that we have in our organization? Do we reward people for, do we set it up? So not necessarily reward, do we set it up so that it's easy to live that kind of lifestyle? What kind of prep? Education, we can certainly help people with education. Um, special interest groups or folks that are interested in exercising, yoga, mindfulness, those kind of things, we can do that, all part, of, all part of HR. Gym memberships, those kind of things. The environment to eat. If we have a cafeteria in our place, what kind of food do we have available? What, what's in our vending machine? All those kind of things. As leaders, we can't control what people do, but we can certainly have an influence. We can certainly educate them, to help them have a better lifestyle, we can certainly create a climate that's going to make it easier for them to do, to do that. Short lunches are uh, not all that great. We, if we're giving out rewards and coupons to fast food places, maybe that's not the best thing to do. So overall wellness, having the energy to do what you want to do. What are you doing for yourself? As an example, what are you doing for your workplace? And what are you doing to help those that work for you? So you get the engagement that you need and want in with those that you lead. Hope you found that helpful. 
See you next Monday morning, 8.30. Have a great week.